Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create the perfect portfolio page in Wix. Now with this perfect page series, I rarely ever focus too heavily on the design because you can always design it in a million different ways, but we're primarily gonna focus mostly on the type of content that you should be putting on these pages. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is actually add some CMS, which stands for Content Management System. For something like Portfolio or Work, it's actually a lot better to use a database than it is to manually display the content on your website. So what we're gonna do is come over to Add, we're gonna come down to Content Manager, and we're gonna press Add to Site. Now a little box is going to appear and allow us to choose a preset or a template. As you can see here, they already have a portfolio option and they also have a projects option that will work as well. However, if you have a bunch of custom fields that you're gonna need, then you might want to go ahead and add a blank one and you can customize it and set it up manually. But for today's video, we're just gonna choose the portfolio option and we're gonna add it to the site. Now, what this is gonna do is basically add two dynamic pages to our website and it's gonna open up the database. Now, before I describe what these dynamic pages are, let me show you around the database. So as you can see here, it basically just looks like a spreadsheet. Over here, we'll have the portfolio title. We can have a description. We can have the date we did it. It comes with a little gallery. It has main project image. It has the client name if you want that. And then it also has these two fields over here which are links to the dynamic pages. However, we don't really need to see these, so we can just click on these and press hide. They're still gonna be here under the hidden fields. We just don't really need to see them. But let's say you have more content than what you see here that you would like to display on the pages. So what you can do is come over to this little add button, and let's say you are a web design business and you want to offer your users to be able to click a link and open up the website for your portfolio piece. So let's say you designed apple.com and you want to allow your users to click on the link and open up apple.com. So what we're gonna do is create a new field. We're gonna name this one URL and we're gonna set the field type to a URL. Now, if I click on this again, you're gonna notice that there are a bunch of different options for field types that we can use. And if you would like to learn more about these different field types, I have another video on CMS that you can check out. The link to that will be in the description below. But for now, we're just gonna set the field type to URL for the URL field, and we're gonna press save. Now it's gonna create a new field right here that we can use. And just as an example, we're just gonna use apple.com as the URL for these projects. Perfect. So now we have filled out the content here and let's just say we've already edited all of the other ones that we want now we can go ahead and close out of the database and you're going to notice a couple things first if we come over to site menu right here which if we open up our pages you'll see it right here under site menu you're going to see that we have a link to the portfolio page here which is basically just the dynamic page and if we come over to dynamic pages right here you're gonna see that our portfolio collection has two dynamic pages, all and title. All basically displays all of the items in the database. And if we switch over to title, then this dynamic page is gonna show a specific item. So typically this portfolio page right here, if a user clicks on this one, like if we press preview real quick, and I click on this one, it's gonna open up the dynamic page for this specific item, which is exactly what we would want. Now, if we go back to the portfolio all, you're gonna see by default, Wix's design added a Wix Pro Gallery to the page, and it also added a strip with a title at the top. Now, the only other element or strip that you might want on the page is, let's say, a call to action. So if I just bring this strip down just a little bit, maybe we can add some text here. And maybe this text can say, like what you see. 
Let's get to work. And maybe you can just add a quick little button here as well. That just says get in touch. Perfect. So now you have basically the main components of your portfolio page. Basically it has the title, which if you wanted to, you could add a little description here as well. Then you have a way to display all of your content in the database or all of your portfolio pieces. And then at the very bottom, you have a call to action to say, hey, do you like what you see up here? Get in touch so we can work together. Now, for something like this, you don't have to use the Wix Pro galleries if you don't want to. Sometimes the design here can be, even though this looks really nice, the design can be limiting if you're trying to accomplish a certain look. So another option that you have is if I go ahead and delete that, we can come over to add we can go to list and we can come to repeaters and we can just choose one of these preset designs if we wanted to, or we can come down to blank repeaters and just pull one of these out just like this. And although I'm going to design these pretty terribly, just keep in mind that you can design these however you would like. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and change the background color to have no color on it. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. The next thing I would like to do is just go ahead and add an image to the page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a quick little free image. We'll just drag out one with this size, bring it down just a little bit, put it inside of our repeater. And then if I open up the toolbar real quick, I can go ahead and align it to the top left and we can just drag it out to where it hits the edge. And then I do think we'll need a little bit more space. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit like that. I'm going to add some text right here. We'll stretch it all the way. And then we'll also add a quick little button here as well. And for now, we'll just say learn more. We'll put it inside the repeater just like that. And there is our very, very simple design for our repeater. And all we have to do is click this. We can say connect to data. We want to connect it to our portfolio data set right here, just like that. Then what we want to do is change the image source to the main project image. And you're gonna notice all of the images update real quick. Then if we go ahead and grab this title text right here, we want to connect this one to the title of the project. And lastly, this button, we want to connect this to our portfolio all dynamic page, just like that. So now if I go ahead and press preview, here is another way to display your projects on your website. Now, again, I did a very, very basic design. So you might want to look up other repeater designs that might be a little bit cooler and have some cool hover interactions. So now if you click on the image or the button, it's going to take you to the dynamic item page, just like that. And here you will be able to see Wix's pre-built design here as well. And once again, you can edit this page design however you see fit. However, for today's example, maybe we want to add that URL that we added to the database. So what we can do is just, let's just bring this strip down just a little bit. And we're gonna come over to button. We're gonna drag out this button onto the page. Maybe we'll just put it right here. And for this text, let's say, check it out. And if we press this little connect to data set right here, what we can do is have the click action go to the URL, just like that. So now if I go ahead and press preview on this page again, and I scroll down to this button, you're going to remember that we set this button to link to apple.com. So if I go ahead and click it, you're going to notice it opens up apple.com just like it should. But that's basically how you set up the perfect portfolio page. Again, if you want other items on your dynamic page, you can open up the database 
add a new field to be whatever you want, which we'll just call this one new field. And if I open up a lorem ipsum generator and I just copy a bunch of text and just go ahead and paste it in to this one right here for landscape magazine photo shoot. And we come down to this page. Maybe we want to add a new section below here. We'll just add a new strip. And we're just going to be basically following the same exact example that we did with the button. So, but instead of a button here, we just added a text field. So we just want to add a text element here. And we can, of course, design this however we see fit. But we want to make sure that we connect this data set or this text element to the new field text that we have put inside of the database. So now we have this nice big chunk of text. Now I do have a ton of videos about CMS and it's already all inside of a nice little playlist for you. So if you want to learn more about dynamic pages and CMS, be sure to click the link in the description for that little playlist about everything you can do inside of CMS. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.